Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we'll be demonstrating exactly why the Whitestone Dome Glass is a unique premium glass screen protector that works with the new S10's ultrasonic fingerprint technology. We'll be comparing it side by side with another generic tempered glass. This video will walk you through a quick installation and a quick setup so you can see for yourself. Also, for your dome glass to work with the S10's in-display fingerprint reader, you will need to set up the fingerprint after you've already installed the dome glass. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Take your alcohol pad and wipe off your phone completely all the way to the edges. Then take your cleaning cloth and dry off the remaining alcohol. Now place your phone in the bottom tray case. Make sure it's all the way in. Attach the adhesive tape to the very top to lightly cover the speaker. Now place your top tray case over the phone. Take your dust removal sticker and take off any dust and place your position bridge in position. Twist the blue cap and place it in the position bridge like this and go ahead and remove the top to allow all the liquid to adhesive to spread onto the phone. Peel off the sheet of your temper glass and lean it against the pin like so. Now tilt the phone down and pull the pin. This will allow the adhesive to spread completely throughout the phone. Wait for the adhesive to spread completely before trying to cure. Once ready, cure the phone 15 seconds at the bottom, then 15 seconds at the top. After it's cured completely, go ahead and take your top tray case off, remove the adhesive tape, and pull your phone out of the tray case. Set it to the side, grab an alcohol pad, and wipe off any of the residual adhesive along the sides. Once it's done, go ahead and cure the final stage, one minute at the top, one minute at the bottom. Now we're going to remove the dome glass and we're going to install just a generic glass so you guys can see the difference. The issue with these protectors is that they leave a tiny gap between your screen and the protector. Because of this gap, the sound waves from the sensor cannot even reach to your finger. No matter how hard you press, it's not going to read. Now let's go ahead and register your fingerprint. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and open your settings. Then select biometrics and security and select fingerprints. Now go ahead and confirm your pin and then select add a fingerprint. Now here on the left you can see that the fingerprint is being registered with the dome glass. But on the right, the sensor can't even tell you're trying. It just won't work. Now, taking off the generic temper glass, we do see that the phone and sensor does register the fingerprint. So the problem is when you add that extra glass with an air gap in between that doesn't allow the sensor to reach your fingerprint. That's it. There you have it. Whitestone Dome, the unique premium glass screen protector that works with the S10's ultrasonic fingerprint technology. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful.